What's going on everybody? Welcome back to MFM. Uh, obviously, you read the title and this is what we're doing today. Um, yeah, this thing was a beast. Um, just to get to this point, to have this window in here was, let's just say, incredibly difficult. I had to brainstorm for a long time, uh, and yeah, what we came up with was we used the 3D printer. Try to show you. In here, you can see this little thing right there, another one there, and then on the other side, there's one here, here. And here, those are spacers. And what those do uh, is they allow me to work on this even when this opens like that. And uh, they keep the window from rattling so much. Hear that sound? That's what it would sound like. So anyways, uh, the goal is just to have it held in place for now because what I'm doing is I'm actually going to seal it all the way around inside and out with uh, uh, I think black caulking would look really good and it would just seal it, shut it and then it would keep it from doing that and being annoying so anyways yeah you don't want road rattle or anything while you're in route to the next fishing spot so that is not my goal so that's what we came up with and yes that took months of thought which it shouldn't have but we're here uh, the window is tinted on the inside, and uh, this is quarter inch thick, as you can see right there. Uh, it's not plexiglass, it's something called Lexin. It's like a super strong brand name polycarbonate, and uh, see, it's not going anywhere. Uh, you could probably throw a brick at it, wouldn't break, uh, which is good, because when you have your fishing stuff in the back, you don't want anybody taking it. Uh, anyways, I move, I'm move. i going to move on now. This track right here took also forever, uh, and I'm not going to talk too long on this, uh, but let's just say it took me about six months to find that track. Uh, they don't make it anymore. I had to buy it from a random online place that, I mean, they were fa fairly reputable, but I mean, come on, like... You don't really want to buy stuff online. You want to have it in person so you can feel it and test to see if it actually fits. And uh, I actually ran into a problem, as you know, reading the title of this video. Uh, the window is too thick to fit in the track. It's supposed to fit a quarter inch, and it fits in the half inch track. But the problem that I found is that when I put the track into the track, it doesn't fit anymore. It's way too tight in here. It fits probably about a 3 16th of an inch. So, let's go right now to the cutting. Three, two, one. Got our Dremel hooked up to some good power. Uh, then we have all of our files and everything that I'm gonna need to do all the cutting. I already did one window and it was a pain. It was such a pain. So I gotta do the next one and uh, real quick, What's that? Oh, it's just a random clothes hanging rack in the yard. It's not going to be a archery target anytime soon, I don't think. But uh, anyways, that's for another video. Anyways, I'm going to get to work. Um, yeah, you've seen enough of my talking so far. And uh, yeah, let's get this done. Here we go.
Okay, finally. There we go. So this is the finished product after all that work. Um, I'm so glad to be done. You don't even know. I've just been, it's been too long. It's been way too long. And uh, yeah, it's been way too much work for one project. Um, if you haven't seen the whole series, I have a playlist. Go check it out. Um, just click on my channel and you'll be able to see it. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is what we have. It's this edge right here, and it's ugly and it's a little wavy, but that's okay because, there you go, it's probably a much better view. Uh, it goes all the way down, brings it down to about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, I still got to clean it up and polish it just so it glides really nicely in the track and it doesn't get stuck. Still a couple little imperfections on it, but it's tinted on this side and this side now has the, the fitment for the track, and um, yeah, I'm really stoked. Like I said, this project has taken way too long. Um, the next video is going to be actually installing the windows into the shell on the back of the El Camino. Again, if you haven't seen it, go check out the whole playlist. I'm telling you, it's pretty good stuff, especially if you're doing one yourself. Uh, watch me first. Trust me. You're going to want to see somebody else screw something up before you go and screw it up for yourself. Because uh, screw-ups are not free. Anyways, I will see you next time. And until next time, do not wear busyness as a badge because it's not one. I'll see you in the next one. Later. your regular scheduled ending uh, to inform you that if you're a lazy craftsman, a little bit like me, uh, you can actually chemically soften edges of lexin with uh, acetone. Anyways, uh, here's your regular program scheduled ending. See you next time.